What's up, soccer fans? Mike Guyomi, sons of a pitch, Soccer Central. CCL action on this wonderful Wednesday night. It's a snowy one in Massachusetts. The Revs and Pumas coming at you. MLS had a great night last night. Can they keep it going tonight against Liga MX? We're going to find out in the next two hours. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button as well if you're a soccer fan. And hell, if you're uh, if you're watching the stream, you got to be a soccer fan. So hit the like and hit the subscribe. It's just that simple. All right, so we're just about a couple minutes away from this game getting underway. We've got the Revs and Pumas. We got a bunch of people in the house tonight already. Dave Sabinski, Rocky does it all. Jamie Polney, Neely Willett, Hopeless Soul, Bernardo Labrada, and more. Thanks for jumping on, guys. Glad to see you. What's everybody thinking tonight for a result? What's everybody's picks? In this game, I, I, I'm, I've been flirting with the draw here, uh, but I think this snow is really going to help New England a lot. So uh, I, I'm thinking I'm going to go with a prediction of, of uh, I'm going to go 2-1 New England Revolution. Although uh, I'm interested to see how Pumas comes out in this one, being that they're right in their league season. So is MLS, but hey, New England got the bye into this round. So we'll see what happens here. We'll see what happens. All right, we're at 12 likes, 33 watching guys. Smash that like button. Let's get it going. Let's get this chat going a little bit as well. Got those beautiful emojis now with uh, with the Revs and Pumas logos in the house. So you guys can uh, add those into your, uh, into your chat there. The Refs are uh, going to have like a little moment of uh, silence for the, uh, I don't know what, either the war or for the actions in Mexico or something. But uh, yeah, it's... Uh, there you go. No to violence. What's wrong is wrong. There you go. No to violence, people. No violence. How about that? All right. So uh, let's get this game started here, guys. Enough of, enough of the talk. It's snowing outside. Let's roll. The seats are covered in white in the snow. The snow is coming down like crazy. It is uh, It's pretty cool. Pretty cool vibe for this game. I, I like it. Bruce Arena, ready to get going. We'll get the, uh, the lineups up here in just a second once... Uh, once the game kicks off, Justin Velasquez in the house. MLS, what's up, Justin? Can't wait. Hoping the MLS can uh, pull this off here, man. Really, really am. It would be uh, would be something after that victory by New York City last night, and then Seattle with that three nothing win. Wow, man, that was uh, that was crazy. So uh, not 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 many people saw that one coming. Red Bull Insider in the house. How you doing? Vamos Pumas. What? Come on now. Salvador Chavez as well. What's up, Salvador? How are you? <laughs> Justin Velasquez. I love Mexico. No MLS. <laughs> That's good. I love it. I love it. Talavera ready to get going. The players are out. Revs in the blue. Pumas in the white. And as soon as the ref gives us the uh, the whistle, we'll be underway. All right, there we go. We are underway here in the first half. Revs and Pumas. Going to be interesting to see how this game gets affected by that snow on the ground. I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking it's going to change things up a bit. I am. I am. All right, let's take a look at the lineups. Lineups in this one. Oh, here's a chance already for New England. Gustavo Bo sends it into the middle, and it's just too far for Buxa and cleared out for a corner kick. New England with an early, early corner. So looking at the lineups here, we've got uh, the Revs. Coming out in a 4-3-1-2, Edwards in goal. Dewan Jones, Omar Gonzalez, Andrew Farrell, and Brandon By at the back. Legette, Polster, and Trousteson in the midfield. Carlos Hill, the number 10. There's a flicked on header towards the back post. Shot bounces up and over and stays in somehow. New England pulls it back, and it's headed clear by Pumas. One of the Pumas players slipped running after the ball. This is, uh, this is going to be an ugly match here, ladies and gentlemen, I, I think. Now, for Pumas, their lineup is a 5-4-1. Talavera in goal. Mozo, Ortiz, Galindo, Freire, and Rodriguez at the back. With Lopez, Higor, Alvarez, and Rogerio in the midfield with Deneno up top for Pumas. All right. Good, ma good lineups for, uh, for both teams here. Few, uh, a little bit of a B-side for Pumas. Not a full B-side, but an, enough of a B-side um, that it's going to be interesting to see how uh, if the Revs can pull this off at home in the snow. All right, Carlos Hill in possession for 
New England Revolution. Ball goes out of play. It's going to be a Pumas throw. Liga MX all the way. I've got 2 nothing Pumas. Red Bull, what are you thinking? What are you thinking here? Come on now, Red Bull Insider. you got to go for MLS here. Got to give props to the Communicaciones fans that bring a lot of fans all the way to Connecticut. It was like a home game for them. It really was. That was I was a little disappointed in New York City for uh, for that. I know they're playing in Connecticut because they're homeless FC, but, uh, man, that was, that was bad news bears right there, man. Oh, God. Lots of Guatemalan fans in the house for that one. Foul against Matt Polster. Free kick coming up for Pumas. Luis and Hello Campo in the house says Chivas. How you doing, Luis? Good to see you, my man. We've got Chivas coming up Saturday night. Chivas and Club America in the El Clasico. Can't wait for that matchup. That's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. Thanks to Ramon Pablano for, uh, for buying this one. $10 super chat. He picked it up. And we're doing Chivas Club America. It's going to be a good time. All right. Pumas playing at the back. Ortiz in possession. Sends it out to the right. Now back into the midfield. Rogerio, now across. Number 23, Friere. Friere plays it up. Here's a chance now for Lopez. Lopez plays it back. Alvarez, long ball over the top, looking for the run. And coming out to get it, Brandon By cuts it off as Edwards came out off his line. A little, uh, little hesitant there. But Farrell will get the clearance for New England. Sends it up to, uh, to Buxa, and there's a foul on Ortiz already lucky to not get a yellow card on that one. <laughs> I can't go for uh, <laughs> for New England, Philly, or New York City. I get it. East Coast thing. I get it. I get it. And DSO in the house. What's up, DSO? Show them the picks. Absolutely. While we're talking about that Communicaciones and New York City game, DSO was in the house for that one. Let's uh, Let's show this here. And there you go. We got uh, DSO with some awesome seats there. Unbelievable seats there, DSO. Very nice. Thanks for sending over the uh, the picks, my man. Much appreciated, brother. And then, of course, we got DSO himself. Take, it looks like it was taken at the end of the game. And, uh, man, DSO, you look like you were cold, brother. You look real cold. They barely got a smile on your face after a 3-1 win. But uh, that was awesome. Awesome, awesome. Thanks for sending over the pictures, DSO. Much appreciated, man. Much appreciated. Rocky in the house at Talking the Woods on Instagram. Guys, go check out that page on Instagram right now. There you go. $5 super chat rooting for all MLS teams except the Flounders. Love it, Rocky. Love it. Man, the the the, the Sounders, bro. Dude, they 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 blew it up last night against Leon, man. They blew it up. I was I was impressed with that one. But thank you for that super chat, Rocky. Much appreciated, man. Much appreciated. All right, here's Pumas in possession. Pumas playing it back. All right, got to update this uh, this list here. We got our first Super Chat of the evening. Compliments of Rocky at Talk in the Woods. All right, let me... Where the hell's my... uh, I I got a bunch of TSI streams running on the computer over there too, guys. All right, I'm just going to put out at Talking the Woods. Boom. That way y'all can go check out that that handle right there. DSO, not going to lie, when we go up against Seattle and CCL, be worried we look a bit shaky, but we got the job done for now. Yeah, I mean, that, you got you can only beat what's in front of you right now, for sure, for sure. Jesse T in the house, what's up, Jesse? Yo, Mike, you got a wager on this game, champ? I do. I've got uh, I've got a small wager. Didn't go too crazy. Only went with uh, only went with twenty bucks on uh, New England tonight. So we'll uh, we'll see what happens here. I think I think New England's going to take it with this lineup with from uh, from Pumas here. Love it, man. How about yourself? All right, Dave Sabinski in the house. Five dollars super chat as well. Super chat train. Choo choo MLS. I love it. That's right, Dave. Let's get this going here. MLS, baby, all the way. This, Let's get it done. I don't think they're going to win. I don't think it's going to be a win for MLS. I'm talking about the whole tournament. But uh, you know what? Got to root for it, right? Got to root for it. All right. Thank you, Dave. Much appreciated. Got to get your name up on the list as well. 
Buxa with a chance and it gets deflected out. It's out for another corner for the refs. All right. At Talking the Woods and Dave Sabinski in the house with those super chats and getting in to our super chat raffle. Each got an entry. Every five bucks equals one entry. Ten dollars equals two entries. One winner at the end of the season is going to get an MLS kit of their choice, as well as a $50 Amazon gift card, guys. Send on over to Super Chats, guys. Much appreciated. Let's keep them rolling. Let's keep that train rolling, like Dave Sabinski says. All right, the kids are home, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. All right, Pumas here with a goal kick. Vic Hernandez in the house. How you doing, Vic? Pumas will win. All right, we'll see, we'll see. Cool guy, Kai, says Sounders till I die. I love it. Good win for you guys, good win for you guys. Bernardo Labrada in the house. I'm doing fantastic, Bernardo. How you doing, my man? Good to see you, dude. Good to see you. The weather is looking good for the Revs. They are used to this. They're used to the cold, for sure. Oh, thank you, dude. How you doing? Good. Did you have fun? Yeah. Sarah says hi, everybody. Is that snow? It is. It's snow at the game. Why? Well, because it's cold, and it's snowing there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now Tom's mad at me for not giving him it. Oh, don't worry about him. I'm like, Tom, I said no. You can't have any. <laughs> All right, girly, get upstairs. Rocky says hi. So does DSO. Hi. Where's the package? Where's what package? Um, the package with my... No fighting until you got back. See? Now Keep moving, can... Belle. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Go rest, girly. Go rest. All right. Here we go. Back to the game here. <laughs> I love when she asks when, it's, when is it snowing. I'm so done with snow, Red Bull Insider. I'm so done with snow. Revolution in possession. Here's a ball up from Carlos Hill. Now played back to Farrell. Farrell misplays it. He'll send it across to Omar Gonzalez. Man, I really thought Omar Gonzalez was going to be a uh, depth piece for the Revs at the back, but uh, it's not working out that way. That worries me about their back line. Omar Gonzalez, Mr. Concrete Feet that he is. It's going to be interesting. Here's a chance now. DeWan Jones gets past one, centers it, and it's cleared by Pumas. Nobody in front. Hill was uh, a little bit too far back. <laughs> Vamos, Pumas. No. No, I'm not going for Pumas tonight, Red Bull. You go for Pumas all you want. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. Carlos in the house. What's up, Carlos? How you doing? Connor McCabe as well. What's up, Connor? How you doing, man? Dude, that penalty kick was horrible, bro. What What are you doing, man? My God. Somebody got to teach you how to kick a soccer ball. Dear Lord. Oh, good. Your book came. Good. That's exciting. All right. We got a new book. Sarah got a new book today. It finally came from Amazon. All right. Get out of here. At least we already have one, and it's a little bit more snow. Sorry, Boston. Yeah, Boston's getting uh, getting some more snow. What What's new up in the Northeast, right? Long ball forward from Pumas, headed clear by Farrell, and taken down in the midfield by Matt Polster. Polster. There looks like there's some snow on the There's board. a little bit of snow. A little bit, of, just a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. All right. Hey, Low in the house. What's up, man? How are you? Mike, you got to put a few dollars on RSL. You know, I, I might have to, man. I might have to. You, Good. You're not. You're not kidding, man. I I, I picked them to go to the uh, to go to the playoffs, but I'm just I'm just hesitant with them. I'm just not. I'm just not seeing it. But they just keep on grinding. Keep on grinding results, my man. So yeah, maybe maybe we'll throw a few bucks on uh, on RSL this weekend. Love it. Nicholas in the house says Pumas wins. We'll see, Nicholas. We'll see. All right, here comes a Pumas throw. Sent in, headed forward, and knocked out by New England. Another throw coming up for Pumas. 12 minutes into this one. 
Let's get it rolling. Let's get a goal in this game. Come on, I need to see a goal here. Let's get this thing going. Austin FC looking like a uh, bet on a team as long as they can keep up with the big dogs in MLS. You know what? I got to see how they do this weekend. At Portland, now it's a whole different ball game, right? Austin FC at home is a, is a good team. They did well last year too, even though they had a bad season. Then they were playing a couple really bad Eastern Conference teams in Cincinnati and Miami. So they did what they're supposed to do. Let's see if they're for real. Let's see how they play against Portland this weekend. All right, New England with some pressure. Here's a pass to Legette. Legette sends the ball into the box right at Talavera. He grabs it. What's this, Brother BKL? I don't know why you still root. Instead, we vote Pumas in it, Mike. Uh, I, hey, look, it, I don't know, man. I, I'm, I'm going for New England in this one, guys. I'm going for New England. Bet the Red Bulls 2-0, and oh, baby, right? Red Bulls are rocking, man. They're looking good. Both wins on the road looking really good. Lopez into the middle. Played forward. Drops back now. Rogerio with the possession. Plays it back, and he misses his mark. And now it'll be Dewan Jones taking it up for the uh, New England Revolution. Up to Carles Hill. Now back to Jones. Jones into the middle. Cut out nicely by Pumas. And then Legette with a pass forward. And a nice interception there by the Pumas defense. <laughs> Portland should smash Broccoli FC. They aren't Miami or Cincinnati. They are not. Portland is not Cincinnati or Miami. You're not kidding, Rocky. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting, especially in Portland. Uh, let's see if let's see if Austin FC is for real. It's 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 a real test for them. Carlos Hill slides it over to Legette. Good pressure here by New England. Out wide to Dewan Jones. Jones cuts back, sends it back to Legette. Now Gustavo Bowen possession. Nice little move there. And he passes into the box, and it's a handball on Pumas. Went right off of his arm, and it'll be a free kick in a, in a dangerous area there. All right, Adam Lowe in the house. $5 Super Chat, RSL betting fun. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. There you go. Boom, done. I'm throwing five bucks on him, my man. Love it. Love it. Anybody else want to add to that? And now Adam's in on that Super Chat raffle as well. Love it, dude. Love it. All right. Going to update this. Uh, keep this thing rolling here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep this train going. All right, here's a decent, decent chance here for New England. In this snowman, just get it on goal. That's what you got to do. Just got to get it on goal. Love it, man. Love it, Alo. Much appreciated, brother. And I love that. I love that Grizzlies logo there, man. That is, uh, that's awesome. I love that Grizzlies logo. Here's the shot. Oh, just hit side netting low dangerous kick there from Gustavo Bo, but just misses and it hits side netting 15 plus into this one so close DSO with the spoilers always with the spoilers DSO you know I'm on Fubo TV brother you know I'm behind you by like at least 30 seconds man <laughs> when you want to say something you just wait 30 seconds then send it <laughs> Talavera with the goal kick plays it short and it's hit off by Bo. Dude, what the hell were they thinking? Bo takes it down, sends it in for Buxatz over its head. And out for another goal kick. I bet you they won't be screwing around with those short goal kicks anymore. That was dumb. That was real dumb. All right, let's see if Talavera just boots this one now. He better. Dear God, be dumb not to. That's for sure. All right, Bruce Arena takes the uh, the all-time lead in wins in MLS. Impressive. All right, Talavera does finally just blast it up. It goes to Andrew Farrell. Farrell sends it up the polster, and he just launches it for the run of Buxa.
Possession 52-48 right now. Marcos says, does anyone have a link to a stream where the game is playing? I, I do not. The only uh, the only thing I can think of is uh, if you can get somehow get an FS2 stream. Somehow find FS2 and uh, then you can get uh, then you can get a stream of the game. I wonder what happened to Salcedo in it. Is he in the bench, Mike? I don't believe so. I don't believe so. I, I think they, they brought up a, uh, a B-side here. So, no, he is not on the bench. I don't think he's hurt. They, they brought in mostly a B-side here. Pumas did. So, I don't know. We'll, uh, I mean, I, I guess they figure they can come into, uh, they can come into New England and get, get a result before they head back to, uh, to Mexico. All right, here's a pass up for New England. Rodriguez sends it back to Alvarez. Alvarez into the middle. Then he returned pass. Now he sends it in. Here's a chance cut off there by Matt Polster. And maybe that'll break for New England. Here goes Buxa. Buxa out wide to Carlos Hill. Carlos Hill with plenty of space. Can he send it into Legette? He does. Legette back heels, and it's taken away by Pumas. And sent up the pitch. There's a foul on Farrell. Pretty even match. I'd give the slight edge to to New England. I think they've been doing. Uh, they'd be doing a little bit, a little bit better than Pumas at the moment. I think Pumas needs Salcedo, but the B team looks decent. They do. They do look decent, brother BKL. It, they're holding their own here, but I think New England might might break one through here. I got a feeling. Dewan Jones with the clearance up to Gustavo Bo Bo. Turns. He's got Dewan Jones on the run on the outside. He sends it to him. Now ball into the middle. There's Hill at the top of the box. Lays it off. Legit. And it's 1-0 New England. Holy shit. <laughs> How about that? How about that? I said I could feel it coming. And boom. Just like that. 1-0 New England. Sebastian Legit. Great passing from the Revs. And Legit gets the goal. 1-0. One 1-0 nothing. One nothing New England Revolution. Talavera, man. I don't know what the hell he was doing. He should have just kicked it out, but he didn't. Wow. The boy scores. He does, DSO. He does. He gets the goal. Legit gets the goal for the Revs, his new squad. Nice pass from Bo up to Dewan Jones. Cross back into the middle to Hill, and then just lays it right into the path of Legit, and it's easy pickings for the one nothing lead. One nothing, New England. The announcer says if uh, Hill and Legette can uh, get some chemistry going, lights out for the rest of MLS, they'll win everything. Not a chance. Not a chance. <laughs> Legette ain't that good. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's not that good. East Coast curse. <laughs> Here we go. MLS coming through. There goes my bet. Right? For anybody that bet on Pumas, look out. The Revs are playing tonight. The Revs are playing tonight. Here's Rodriguez for Pumas looking for an equalizer and that away goal. An away goal is crucial now for Pumas. Alvarez switching over to the right-hand side. Pumas in possession. Now ball into the middle. Farrell gets ahead on it. It goes back to number 16. Tries to keep it in. Goes out of play. It's a goal kick for Edwards and New England. <laughs> a new Wiseman in the house. Too legit. Too legit to quit. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah. I like it. Good stuff. Good stuff. I bet $3.50 on Pumas. Jesus, Red Bull Insider. Like $3.50 or $350. Because if you got that kind of dough rolling around here, Jesus, help a brother out. Why haven't you joined as an all-star? What are you doing? <laughs> My Lord, $350 on Pumas. And they got like plus, I think the last I saw it was like plus 375 for Pumas, I believe. That's insane. Insane. You know, when the, when the odds when the odds makers got a, a Mexican team and a Liga, a Liga MX side going up against an MLS side at plus 375 odds, you know there's something wrong there. Oh, there you 
you go. Hey, Lo, my wife is from Guadalajara. I'm not sure if you mentioned it in any of the other videos. What are your thoughts on the Atlas Kenetaro fight? You know what? I did mention it before, and I think it's disgusting. Uh, it, it, there's no place for that in sports, man. It really isn't. I mean, you know, back in the day, they used to get some you get some dust ups in the stands and whatnot, but that's that's ridiculous. I mean, that that was it was a shame to see, and uh, I hope the league comes down. I hope Concaf comes down hard on them. Um, they, they better not have fans for the rest of the season. I know the ownership group is is selling. Um, and they're going to bring in a new ownership group, but yeah, it's, it's bad, man. It's bad. I, the reports of 17 dead apparently are unconfirmed. Apparently, supposedly nobody died, which is good. Uh, but man, they, they gotta, they, they gotta do something and, and no fans in the stands the rest of the season, if not multiple seasons. Uh, yeah, there's a chance there. Books are trying to get on the end of a run, but can't quite get there before Talavera gets out. Uh, but man, it, it was just, just crap. I, I'm disappointed in it, man. But that's, dude. These Mexican fans. I'm sorry, but they, they got, they got some, they got some issues. They do they, with with the chanting and the, the fighting and all that kind of stuff, man. Come on, come on. Pull your lives together down there. Come on. Oh, there you go, brother. BKL says Caratado fan is now banned. So you guys happy? There you go. League MX made the decision. Good, good. That that's it, that's a start. That's a start. I, I would dock them. I would dock them points. So they ain't gonna make the Legia if uh, if they even have a chance to. I don't know if they do, but uh, I, it's messed up, man. That was a, a bad situation, real bad situation. Oh, nice run from Dewan Jones. Sends the ball in. It's flicked on to Carlos Hill, and he blasts it, but it goes over the net. I heard the security staff let the ultras in the state the station uh, stadium. Interesting. I wonder why. That's dumb. Mike, I agree with everything you just said. Love it, DSO. Love it, man. <laughs> Rocky, I don't mind fighting, but when a dude is knocked out, leave them be. That's where it got bad. Yeah, if they, I mean, I didn't see any of that, but damn. There you go. By the way, I'm wearing the SOP shirt. Wore it yesterday, too. Love it, DSO. Love it, man. Appreciate that, brother. Oh, great ball through for Buxa. He's through. He shoots. Talavera with the save. And then cleared by Pumas, but only as far as Carlos Hill. Here's Hill sends it up to Legette. Legette with a cross in, blocked again by Pumas. Friere with the block. Now back to Hill. Carlos Hill across to Legette. Legette, will he get another cross in? No, he sends it back to Carlos Hill, and New England is pressuring, really pressuring right now. Looking to add on to that lead. Man. Wow. Mexican fans can be some of the best due to chance and atmosphere, but also most dumb and worst due to the fighting. That and some of the chance, soccer guy. That and some of the chance. Talavera versus Ochoa. There you go. Two Mexican keepers right there. Jay King in the house. What's up, Jay King? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Kenetaro may rebrand under a new owner. Good. Good. They should. <laughs> Instead of an NYCFC shirt, DSO, damn it. Now, nah, he had his NYCFC kit on. Saw that in the pictures there. Let's pull up those pictures. DSO was in the house last night for the New York City game. And there he is. Of course, I got it cut off, but uh, you, got, you can see the kit under there. As well under that jacket because it was cold. When you're sitting outside, even if it's not like super cold, when you're sitting outside for two hours, it's cold, man. It's cold. And then, of course, some uh, some beautiful, beautiful seats. Great shot from right there at center uh, center line. Absolutely love it. And yeah, the fan the, the way they put all the fans on the one side to make it better for TV. Um, all right, it was all right, but you know that that's what the that's where the cameras were on that side showing all the fans on the other side so not bad not bad all right back to the game pumas with possession at the back since uh, about five minutes before that goal for new england it's been all all new england revolution here's a chance now jones sends the ball into the middle paulo perez in the house Here's a chance. Jones back to Buxa. 
Cuts inside. Now turns back. Sends it to the middle. And it's cut out nicely there by Alvarez. Man. New England is rolling. It's, it might be a matter of time before they get another one. But here's a chance on the counter for Pumas. Shot from distance right at Edwards. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Giuseppe LaRocca, new to the channel. Thank you for your work at work and listening because I can't watch it. Love it, Giuseppe. Thanks for coming on and finding us, man. Hit that like and subscribe button. Turn on that bell so you don't miss any of our awesome soccer content. All MLS. All cock and calf, all the time, right here on SOP Soccer. That's all we do. I don't, I don't mess around with the England and the Italy and all that BS. It's all cock and calf. That's what I do. And I'm proud of it because I love cock and calf soccer. All right. Here they show a uh, possible foul on Pumas. Yep, it's a uh, foul there on Pumas. Bear with me here as I'm starting a couple other lives up on my other channel here, guys. Just uh, from my phone running the TSI streams. You know what I'm saying? All right, here is Omar Gonzalez with possession. Love it, soccer guy. Love it, man. Mike, you are awesome for providing these streams, bro. Making CONCACAF important as it should be. Absolutely, dude. When I started this up with my buddy Nick, the goal was to grow the sport of soccer in America and in North America, and that's what we're working on. And then we're growing, and so is the game here in North America. So love it. Here's a chance for Pumas, top of the box. Sent out wide. Pumas finally getting some action in the other end. Cross goes in. It's blocked out by Brandon. Bra Brandon Bayer will be a throw-in coming up here for Pumas in the New England end. Shit. This I was afraid of. All right, Pumas in possession there. Love it. Thank you for subbing. Much appreciated. Red Bull Insider, I miss I miss Nick. He's a great guy. He is. He's a good dude. We uh, we had a good time while it lasted, and uh, now he's building up a channel on his own. So uh, if you guys haven't checked it out, check out we uh, Wife Children House on YouTube. There you go. Right? Brother BKL said, there you go. Big shout out to Nick P. Oh, and here comes Gustavo Bull down the left. Ball centers in for Buxa. Buxa gets his head on it. It falls to Buxa. He gets his left foot, puts it down. Oh, what a block by Pumas. Damn, that was close. That was real close. All right, got to get the Raptors game going here on the other one. And go live. Here we go. Perfect. All right, we're rolling. Right? Love that mentality. Grow your own product, but also grow the sport of your product as a whole as well and spread it worldwide as possible. You got it, man. You got it. It's what we're trying to do. It's what we're trying to do. It takes time, but we're having fun doing it. And it's from the support from you guys watching, liking, subscribing, sending over these super chats like Rocky, Dave Sabinski, hey, Lo. This is what keeps us going, guys. This stuff ain't free. Computer to put all these graphics together and all that kind of stuff. So much, much love to everybody who helps support the channel as well. All the members, guys, much appreciated. Really much appreciated. All right, 31st minute. Buxa looking on. He's uh, he's looking like he's going to get himself a goal tonight. He's uh, he's getting he's getting into it here. Blocked out. Clearance went off of Pumas' arm and out for a corner kick for New England. Look at my last... Uh, Two comments. I said that about Nick. Pumas, please get a goal. I don't care. Just score. I don't want to lose 350. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Love it, man. That's what I'm trying to do. I think there's a market out there for crew-specific content. I agree, Connor. There is a big hole in the market for Columbus. So jump in there, man. I love it. Love it. Everybody go check out Connor's channel, Connor McCabe. He's got some uh, awesome stuff on the crew. Looking forward to hopefully growing a few FC, uh, growing to going to a few FC Dallas games this season. I'm hyped for that. Vamos, nice, nice. Yeah, that uh, look Dallas. They they, I think they're a work in progress, but I think they're definitely improved this year than uh, than last. So they, they, I think they can flirt with the playoff spot for sure. 
New England uh, with possession. Looked like a foul there, but Pumas takes it away. Omar Gonzalez gives it away. What's new? Good old Omar, man. Gotta love it. Ball rolls over to Edwards, and he'll pick it up and distribute. So still 1-0 New England over Pumas. The goal early from Sebastian Legette. All right, here's Pumas, number 16, Rodriguez into the middle. Now a long ball forward, headed up by Pumas and uh, goes to Dewan Jones. Dewan Jones up to Matt Polster. All right, now Carles Hill. Yep, agreed. Soccer guy, agreed. Yep, there you go. DSO is a whole friend of YCFC that's slowly being filled by content creators like me. And post 90 pod met up with the guys from the pod at the game. They're chill guys. Very cool. Very cool. Yep. Go check out DSO's channel as well. He's growing the game as well here in the U.S. Love it, man. Talk NYCFC. Go check that out. I got all notifications for TSI streams. Love it, Red Bull Insider. Love it. Thank you. I appreciate that, guys. The likes, the ad clicking, that helps me out immensely. It really does. Also, Mike, I heard Isaiah did tell me about Bench Kings. They're all right, and they also on vacation since SKC, plus they have a new logo and same name, Bench Kings. Oh, they're back? Are they back? Because I know they went on like a, a long, long hiatus there. I liked them. They were fun. They brought some, some comedy in. Uh, I, I enjoyed it. Man, Buxa. Oh, God, how did he not make that? Buxa just missed. What a chance for Adam Buxa. And Pumas is just... Praying to get to halftime, only down by one. Man, what a mess. Pumas playing like trash. Now, a real bad back pass. Edwards uh, tried to handle it, but it hopped over his foot. Nice move by Dewan Jones, though, to save out of there. Woof. Not yet, but very soon. Okay, nice. There you go. I was surprised I got some Guatemalan fans that found my channel for the preview. That's awesome, dude. That's really cool. Man, Pumas dude just knocked over DeWan Jones. 35th minute. Six shots for the Revs. One. Only one for Pumas. It's been a blowout here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm surprised it's only one nothing at this point, really. Long ball forward by Pumas, and Omar Gonzalez is there. He'll play it up. Oh, dirty move. Is that Polster? Wow. Nice move by Polster, and then Gustavo Bo, and he's fouled by Pumas. Wow. Galindo, not happy about the foul call, but it was clearly a foul. Yes, MLS needs a CCL trophy. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Ooh. Pumas is really not looking good right now. Not looking good at all. They head it back to the keeper, Talavera, and Buxa and Bo are right there. I mean, that was dangerous. Dangerous play. Jesus Galvan. How you doing? Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us. By what you're saying, Pumas isn't doing well. Andres Lelini may need to change things in the next 45, knowing they mostly have academy players. Yeah, and Talavera's down, uh, stretching his leg out a little bit. He might be hurt, too. That wouldn't be good. Um, but, yeah, Pumas has got to do something because it is not pretty right now. It is not pretty at all. So Talavera is getting, ugh, excuse me, getting his leg checked out. Didn't seem like he it seemed like he was fine. I don't know what what happened there, but uh, all right, guys, we got 26 likes on the stream. Let's get this thing up to like at least 35 by halftime. We got 35 watching. Hit that like button if you haven't hit it yet. Let's get it going. 
Click those ads. Send them over a super chat. Get in on our super chat raffle. Every five bucks, get you an entry into the raffle. We already have about 30 entries in so far. It's been great. One winner at the end of the season is going to get an MLS kit of their choice. Whatever team, MLS, whatever there, whatever you want, whoever wins. And an Amazon $50 gift card, guys. Jump in it. All right, so back underway now, waiting for the throw there for the Revs. Bo will uh, just let it go back to the Pumas keeper, who seems to be okay. Ramon Pablano in the house. What's up, Ramon? How you doing, my man? A new Bench Kings is back. I love them. They're good. They're good. I like them. They're pretty funny. They were like the chiseled Adonis of MLS. Dude, I got I to gotta see this chiseled Adonis y'all talk about all the time. I got to look him up. Because uh, I've never watched it. Never watched them. But y'all talk about them all the time. So they must be pretty good. All right. There's a pass across by Pumas. Taken out by Bai. And then he takes too far of a touch. And it's picked off by Pumas. But given right back. Because, man, it's just all New England all day right now. New England is just just owning the pitch. A great ball for the, for the run of Bai. And he's got tons of space. Crosses into the middle and it's cut out nicely. Great, uh, great takeaway there by Ortiz to get that cross out of there. Puma score a goal. I'm going to lose 350. Oh, my God. Our Bench Kings back. I checked their channel, but I haven't seen anything new. Soon, according to Brother BKL. Soon, soccer guy. Mike, you're going to cry when you watch his content. He's so funny. Oh, God. I'm, I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to have to check it out. All right, here's Carles Hill. Ball into the box. Cleared. Straight up into the air by Pumas. Now headed back. Legette keeps it alive. Now played back. And Legette back to Buxa. Buxa gets it taken away there. And finally just cleared out by Pumas. Man, they're just praying. Just praying to get to that halftime whistle. So they can figure something out. Legette with a ball into the box. Omar Gonzalez uh, gets his head on it. Sent it the wrong way, though. Trustison with it. His pass back, and uh, Bo can't handle the Pumas defender. Oh, man, Martinez getting just tackled by two revs. Somehow. Somehow that wasn't called. Wow. I thought there were two fouls there on that one, but... Hey, you know what? I'm not the referee, so whatever. It's all good. It's all good. All right, here's the long throw for Pumas. Pumas just can't seem to get anything going. They start playing. They just start playing the ball forward, and it's getting cut out by New England. And then New England will go forward, and the defense doesn't show up until the final third for Pumas. Then they just give the ball away like that. I mean, my God, what a mess. Number 10, Alvarez, turns and sends it backwards, and it goes right, just goes right back to uh, right, right to New England. Here's Brandon By near sideline. By sends it back. Polster goes all the way across to Omar Gonzalez. Chisel Adonis is freaking funny. Plus, he's talking through MLS and Haiti police. Huh. All right. There you go. There you go. Yeah, never. I, I, I got to find him. I got to find him. Pumas with it. All right, guys. We're one like away from 30. Hit that like button, guys. Let's get to 30 before the half here. We got to at least get to 30. Goal's 50 tonight. Let's get to 50. All right. Corner kick coming up for New England. Dewan Jones lays it down. Will he take it short? Talavera comes out to set up the defense there. Carlos Hill runs over to take the corner kick. Corner is in, headed clear from Pumas. And sent right back in there by New England. Great ball forward, but Farrell's back to cut it out. Here's Gustavo Bo on it now. Bo sends the ball into the box, cut out by Pumas. But sent right back in by New England. My God. 
All right, I'm on 32 likes now. Talk NYCFC in the house. DSO. Y'all go check out his channel there. Talk NYCFC, guys. Go sub to my boy DSO. Growing the game, man. Growing the game, guys. Jump on it. All right, so here is uh, here's New England on the ball once again. Still on the ball. Long ball over for Dewan Jones. Pumas player knocks it out off of the arm of Jones, and it'll be a handball. Man, nice play there by Mozo as the ball just went right into the arm of Dewan Jones. There you go. Love it, brother BK. I love it, man. Appreciate it, brother. Appreciate it. All right, Talavero with the uh, free kick at the top corner of the box. 43 minutes into this one. Dineno has not touched the ball enough for Pumas at all. It's been all New England, ladies and gentlemen, all New England. There's a misplayed header by Pumas and cleared by Omar Gonzalez. Buxa plays it over to Carles Hill. Hill has the overlap and run there on Leggett. Leggett gets on it. Now he turns back, sends it back to Hill. Carlos Hill up to Legette. All right. Whoa, Christian, what's up? Says, just got out of work. Who scored for the Revs? Legette. Sebastian Legette got the goal for the Revs. All right, we're up to 37 now. Look at that. We're rolling here. We're rolling. Love it. Also, Ryan Anderson is streaming game same as yours, Mike. Oh, nice. Good stuff. Yeah, Ryan's got the game going as well. Ryan was on uh, last night for uh, a game. He's on tonight for a game. Love it. So y'all go check out Ryan Anderson's stream as well. I'll have to stop by maybe during halftime and say what's up. All right, here comes the goal kick from Talavera. Pumas on it, sends it out wide to no one. Brandon By plays it forward. He has the run to Carles Hill. He's going to get there first. Goes right around number eight, but missed, missed touch. And now Pumas will work back the other way just to give it right back. And that's exactly what they just did. It's unbelievable. This is insane, guys. It is truly insane. Here is Omar Gonzalez. I, you know, honestly, from, a, from a, a neutral point of view, I hope the game gets better in the second half. Because it's been all New England. This is a pretty damn boring game to watch. But uh, I'm all good with MLS getting the victories here. I am. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. All right. Gustavo Bo played back to Omar Gonzalez. Red Devil 11, what's up? How you doing, man? I'm doing good, Red Devil. I'm doing good. How you doing? All my revs right now. It is. It's all your revs, dude. They are they are handling business right now. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. And there's the most beautiful woman in the world, Allison, in the house. What's up, Allison? Thanks for stopping by. Hanging out with us for a little bit. Sebastian is flourishing with Bruce Arena. I'll always be a fan of Leggett. He signed my Galaxy jersey. Very cool. Very cool. Nice. Did you see Leon's new logo, Mike? I didn't. They have a new logo? Interesting. Surprised that so many people showed out to the match in those conditions. Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot of people there. It really isn't, but that's, I mean, for New England, yeah, that's it's a good amount for in, in those type of conditions, for sure. With that kind of snow, yeah. All right, Pumas with possession. One more minute of stoppage time here. Long ball over the top. Looking for Rogelio. He turns, sends it forward, misses Mozo, and it's cut out by Omar Gonzalez. Omar Gonzalez has struggled tonight. No, really? Omar Gonzalez only struggles every night. Dude's done, man. He's done. He's so done. It's not, it's, it's bad. It's bad. But, hey, you know what? I mean, he's got a decent, uh, he's got a decent, uh, He's got a decent, decent depth piece, but that's about it. All right, DSO in the house. Love it. I'm a legit fan. Get me in the raffle for a legit shirt. I love it. You're in, DSO. You're in, my man. You are in 
on that super chat raffle for a legit kit love it man love it and you guys can get in as well send over that the five dollar super chat gets you one entry ten dollars is two time to add dso in to the raffle app it's a real cool app on my phone it's called raffle way pretty neat you add all the entries in you just hit the button and boom it populates a winner love it all right we'll add that in there during halftime guys it's halftime dso big ups much appreciated brother for that super chat same to a low dave sabinski and rocky at talking the woods whoa well, christian what jersey is it for the raffle it's a jersey of the winner's choice end of the season one winner gets to pick an mls kit of their choice and they get a 50 dollars amazon gift card to boot so with that being said halftime it is send it over to super chat get on into the raffle my man
What's up, y'all? Back for the second half. Man, the Revs doing some business here. Doing some business on Pumas. Love it. Love it. Getting ready for the second half here. The Revs fans in attendance getting getting jacked up, ready to roll. Red Bull, I just added you as a mod. You've been hanging out with us for a long time, and uh, you know what? I, I put you up there as a mod as well, so love it. And uh, Rocky just put out a message that came through on my end through the Twidget bot, but did not show up through uh, through the YouTube chat. So guys, go check out Rocky's page on Instagram, at Talkin' the Woods. He has a 900 follower giveaway soon on his page. T-shirt, as well as a team-signed Timbers Army scarf. Check it out, y'all. Get in on that. Get in on that. Go over to Rocky's page. Hit that follow button and jump in. All right. DSO says people say MLS stadiums are much safer than League MX stadiums. Yes. A lot safer, DSO. A lot safer. (laughs) All right. So the players are out for the second half. Get this clock going and we'll run through the stats from the first half. They cleared off. A lot of snow off the field there. Well done by the grounds crew. Love it. And the ref is ready to go. And there we go. We are rolling in the second half. Pumas, can they get back in it? Or will New England continue to dominate? It's going to be interesting to see if Pumas can get back into this game. Here's Pumas in possession. Already looking a little bit better right now. With a pass up here, Deneno. Can he get on the end of it? He does. He cuts back, sends the cross into the middle. It goes off of Omar Gonzalez. And a nice takedown there by Pumas. Looking like they got a little extra energy in this one to start the second half. Ortiz passes over to Friere. And now plays it all the way back to Talavera. Talavera with the long kick up the pitch. Headed forward by Brandon By. Alvarez gets on it for Pumas. And Pumas with possession now. So let's take a look at those halftime stats. New England, 57.4% possession to 43% for Pumas. Total shots 9-1 to for New England. Holy cow. Shots on goal only 2-1, but one of them hit the back of the net. And that's what matters. So uh, passing accuracy, 82% for the uh, Revs, 75.5% for Pumas. It's, uh, it's, It's clear. It's clear. New England is playing a lot better than Pumas is to be expected, I guess. With Pumas with that B-side coming up and uh, being in the cold, that helps the Revs for sure. So uh, the Revs, let's see if they can capitalize here and get another goal and not give up an away goal. Although Red Bull, with all your 350 bucks there, my God. God bless you. I'm kind of hoping for Pumas now just for that. Like, my Lord. Here comes New England. Hill plays it up the bow. Now back to Hill. Lays it off. Troustison. Runs it into the corner of the box. Cuts back. Tries to send the cross in and it goes off of Lopez and out for a corner kick. Nice little uh, one-two play there by the Revs in the midfield to launch Troustison on that run into the box. Carles Hill over to uh, take the corner. Ball's in, headed away. Now Bo. Bo sends it in. It's cleared. Taken back down by Bo, though. Gustavo Bo, can he get the cross off? No, he cannot. Dan Garrett, you're in the house. What's up, Dan? How you doing, my man? Good to see you, brother. Good to see you. Carlos Hill and Pumas player. I don't know who it is with the ball. And it's broken up there by Adam Buxa. Buxa plays it over to Carles Hill. Now into the middle. Now back out wide for Hill. Kick their asses, Revs. They are kicking their asses, Dan. They are handling them right now. Handling them. Bruce Arena was really hoping to get a second goal before the halftime break. Didn't happen. Will it come back to bite them? Or will they be able to uh, to stay strong here? Buxa with a nice challenge. It's a foul, but a good challenge nonetheless. Again, hey, no problem, Red Bull Insider. No problem. I got you. I got you. Thanks for thanks for hanging out. Thanks for clicking those ads. Thanks for being a part of this channel and with TSI. I appreciate that so, so much, guys. When you guys sub over to TSI, click those streams with the notifications. Click those ads. 
That is such a revenue maker for this. I'm actually making more money on TSI than I am from Sons of a Pitch, if you can believe it. Um, so that is a huge help to keeping this stuff growing over here as well. And this is the only channel I actually show this beautiful mug of mine on. So uh, there you go. <laughs> Dan Garriger, I'm at the kids' soccer practice listening to the program. Love it, man. Love it. God, I wish our kids could practice uh, playing soccer right now. Not happening with uh, the, the weather here, but uh, spring soccer is coming up soon. I f I'm flirting with coaching, but I don't know if I'm ready yet. They're too young. I I'm too serious. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm flirting with it. Flirting with it. But Allison might be going back to school, and, you know, things might get a little crazy. So I'm like, eh, maybe not. <laughs> You're not a mug. <laughs> All right, here comes New England. Ball into the middle. Carlos Hill lays it off. Legit. Plenty of space in the middle. Lays it off for Bo. Bo over to Dewan Jones. Dewan Jones ball back into the middle. Broken up there by Pumas. Lands for Bo and he just flanks it. But Talavera had to like, he had to do something with that. I thought it was going to go way out, but man, well played there by Talavera. All right, ball goes out of play. Pumas with the throw. All right, guys, we're at 40 likes. Smash that like button if you haven't done so yet. Here's the ball up from Pumas, taken away by Matt Polster. Sends a long ball looking for the run of Buxa, but it's handled by Pumas. Ball goes out of play. Pumas throw. Here comes the long cross. Cut out by Dewan Jones. Nice play by that young man. He looks better and better every single game. Gustavo Bo sends the ball into the middle for Hill. Hill lays it back. Polster forward. Here's Brandon By. By over to Legette. Legette shot is blocked. God bless myself. Vamos Pumas. Yeah, God, you need it. You need it. All right, here is New England. Dewan Jones with it. Now Carles Hill and broken up there by Pumas. Whoa, Christian with the $10 super chat. Love it. Enter me into the raffle. New LA Galaxy kit. XL Kevin Cabral 9. Love it. Whoa, Christian. Love it, man. And there you go. So now we know if you win, it's a Galaxy kit. The new one. Love it. Love it. Kevin Cabral. Okay. Not a chicharito, huh? Kevin Cabral. I like it. I like it. Thanks for jumping in. Appreciate the super chats. And uh, there you go. Two entries. Love it. Love it. All right. Let me add that to the list. All right. Love it. Boom. $10 super chat. Big ups. Whoa, Christian. Love it. Yes, thank you for that donation. Absolutely. Huge donation. Mike, how's it going, Mike? Brand new member from the other night. Appreciate you joining up, my man. We have a raffle going on. We do, Mike. We do have a raffle going on. A super chat raffle. One winner at the end of the season is going to win an MLS kit of their choice, as well as a $50 Amazon.com gift card Love it, guys. Jump in. Five bucks equals one entry, so ten, like Will Christian just sent over, is two entries. Just like that. Jump in, guys. Jump in. Get in on it, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, it, We're rolling here. we got a bunch of entries in already, and uh, the Super Chat train is rolling. It's rolling. All right, here's Dewan Jones with possession. Chicago plays. What's up, my brother? How are you, my man? Good to see you, dude. Good to see you. Dan says his team plays for their age group final games this weekend. Oh, shot! Buxa with a nice shot and a save by Talavera, but it was offside anyway. If they win both, they're champs. However, team playing is playing off of last year's roster, and he's not on that roster. Good times. Oh, geez. That's crazy. Well, good luck. Good luck to the team, Dan. Good luck to the team. All right. Goal kick, free kick from uh, Talavera. Bruce Arena looking on, not so pleased at the moment. He wants that second goal, and they should be getting him soon. They should be getting a, they should be getting one soon here. They, they've still come out well. And there's Mike in the house. 
with the ten dollar super chat i'll take a red bulls kid if i win love it love it mike appreciate it brother appreciate it all right two entries for mike and yeah can't go wrong with those red bulls kits they are they are fire man i like that red bull kit a lot all right pumas with possession Ooh, nice move in the middle there but then lays the pass off behind his teammate pumas a little bit of an attack it's been a while since they've had an attack but man yes thank you mike walsifer much appreciated brand new member just joined up love it love it mike appreciate that my man and let's get you up onto the list as well now you guys know i'm not gonna remember when you say red bulls kid or the the la galaxy kid or all that kind of stuff so you, i'm gonna have to reach out to you towards the end of the season when we do that live for the raffle so that's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun all right mike is in as well love it two entries thank you for that donation much appreciated all right here comes pumas in possession at the back this game's been good i'll watch the highlights along with champions league highlights you know it's it's been a good match for new england and here they come gustavo bow shot from distance bar holy sh oh, wow as all the snow falls off the crossbar right behind the goal line that was pretty cool. That was really cool. But what a shot by Gustavo Bo. Yeah, this game's been good for New England, Dan. It's been good for New England. <laughs> like, I'll make a supercharger throughout the year, and I don't think you'll have to ask me what jersey I want. No, I, I probably not. Probably not, Red Bull. <laughs> Dewan Jones plays it back. To Omar Gonzalez, 56th minute, one nothing. New England Revolution. Legit. Long ball over the top. Bo takes it down with his head. Gets it onto his foot, and it's two. What a freaking goal! And the offside flag comes up. Holy snakies. Wow. What a shot by Bo. What a touch. What a shot. But the ref says, the linesman says he's offside, and that is the correct call. Yeah, it won't be. Uh, they won't need to look at it very long because yes, that was uh, that was offside, but barely. What a finish by Bo! Takes it down off his head, lays it right into the path of his shot, and blasts it past Talavera. But Pumas lives on. Wow, about to freak out. Yeah, you bet. You'd be freaking out if they get a second. Rev still waiting around, thinking they're gonna take a look at it, but it's not. That was off. Clearly off. Farrell's over there talking to the ref. And Eno's like, come on, let's get it going. Let's get it going. He was off. Come on. There you go. He says, nope. Let, offside. Keep it going. Legit takes the goal kick from Talavera. Because Talavera has been struggling with these kicks. Bo sends the ball and Buxa heads it down and it goes wide. Wow. Man, New England is freaking balling tonight. They are balling. Buxa with a beautiful move. Sends the ball in. Free header for Buxa. Oh, wow. How, how has New England not scored a second yet? They've had so many chances. So many chances. 11 total shots. Three on goal. Man, crazy. Crazy. Is this game at Gillette Stadium? It is, Mike. It is at Gillette Stadium. It's snowing. A bunch of snow. All, this, all the empty seats are white. And uh, there was a good amount of snow on the ground when the game started. But uh, they, they cleaned it up pretty good during halftime. So it is at Gillette Stadium. There's a foul against New England. Omar Gonzalez. Dude's been struggling tonight. There's been one dead spot for New England, and that's been Omar Gonzalez. But did anybody expect anything less? I, I certainly didn't. Nice, I like away trips up there. I've never been there. Never been there. I'd like to get to uh I'd, I'd like to get up to the the northeast, but it ain't gonna happen this year. We're we're planning a, a big road trip up to the northeast with the uh with the RV, but uh that ain't gonna happen this year. Not happening this year. Gas prices way too high. Way too high. All right, here's Carlos Hill. Sends the ball up to Gustavo Bo. Bo plays it off the Pumas defender and out for a throw. 
<laughs> and Ramon, Mike, you need to come out to the west side. Planning on that too, my man. Planning on that too, but uh, not right now. I ain't paying, dude. It's gonna cost like four or five hundred bucks right now to fill up my tank. Get me five hundred miles in that RV. Mm mm. Nope. We'd be taking some short trips. You know, staying in Illinois, Wisconsin, Iowa, Indiana area this year. Till those gas prices go back down a little bit. All right, here goes Pumas. Pumas. Galindo with it. Plays it out wide. Mozo. Sends the ball in. Farrell. Easy header out. Taken down low by Lopez. Lopez plays it wide to Rodriguez. And then his ball in is cleared by Farrell. Goes out to the wing and nice job there. Kept in by Brandon By. Yeah, I'd love to see you and Allison in the north end with the 3252. Man, I'd love to get out there, dude. We That would be awesome. That would be a really good time. Really good time. One day. We'll get out there, Ramon. One day. We'll get out there. We'll get out there. Especially with the way TSI's been growing and stuff. Maybe, 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 yeah, maybe one day we'll, we'll get out there. When all this blows up. You know what I'm saying? Mike Jall in the house. What's up, Mike? How you doing, my man? Got any bets on this one tonight, Mike? I, I put some money on New England tonight. As soon as I saw Pumas had their B-side. Here comes Pumas down the right side. Pozo, Mozo. Sends the ball in, blocked by Gonzalez, and goes right to Edwards. I agree with Insider. Red Bull Arena is a nice spa- nice spot to watch a game. It looks like a great stadium. I wish they'd keep it full. That would be uh, that would be nice if they could if they could get it full. Trostison's ball in right at Talavera, no problem. But I think it'd be a great atmosphere there if they had you know damn near a full stadium there for the Red Bulls. But lots of stadiums I want to get to, man. Lots of stadiums I want to get to. No bets for Mike. I hear you, brother. I hear you. Going big this weekend, man. I can't wait for this weekend. Pumas with a couple subs ready to come in. Ball up there. Two attacking players coming on for uh, one attacker and one defender for Pumas. So switch in formation coming for them. There's a cross out to the wing. By knocks it down. I could do a live bet. There, yeah, you could. There you go. You could, Mike. You could. I don't know, man. I'm. Uh, I'll be interested to see in the next few minutes what what Pumas looks like after these substitutions. That's that's that's. I'd stay away from anything right now. But New England looks like they're going to take this. But Pumas might be able to come for a comeback if these new attacking players can uh, can look good when they come on. Martinez, there's a knockdown. Oh, that might be a foul. Puma sends the ball back in. Farrell with the clearance. Polster sends it back. Puma's back on it. Alvarez sends it into the box. It's knocked away by Polster and then cleared up to Buxa. Buxa out wide. Is that Bo? No, it's not. It's Carles Hill working on the right side. Hill working. Moves into the middle. Still going in the middle. Tries to send a cross out to Gustavo Bo, but it's broken up there nicely. By Pumas. I gotta get these lineups back up so I can see these uh, these Pumas players' names. Because I don't know who I'm talking about over here on Pumas. Trousteson down. He looks like he's cramping up a little bit. De Oliveira coming in as well as Carozo. So Diego and Carozo coming in for uh, for Pumas. Galindo is one player coming out. All right, Mia in the house. How you doing, Mia? Good to see you. Good night, Mike. Are you okay? Greetings from Porto. Love it. I'm doing great, Mia. How about yourself? How are you doing? Thanks for coming on over all the way from Porto, Portugal. Love it. Love it. All right, Lopez is out for Pumas. So Galindo and Lopez out. So a defender and an attacker out for two attackers. Let's see what... uh, Let's see what Pumas can do with those two attacking players up top now. Boateng coming on. Looks for probably for Trousteson. Yes, it is for Trousteson who was cramping up. Boateng uh, coming off the bench is, is, a good, is a good move. Oh, 
133 appearances for Emmanuel Bolatang. Wow, yeah, former uh, LA Galaxy player. All right, here comes Porto down the right. Taken down by Mozo. Mozo's ball in. And it was grabbed by Edwards, but it's a corner because he dropped it. Bad play there. Red Bull Arena would be rocking if it was in New York. It would be a sellout every single game. You think so? You think so? It could be. Could be. All right, here comes the corner now for uh, for Pumas. Sends the ball in. Low. Taken down. Now sent back out wide. Mozo crossing into the middle. Headed clear by New England. Alvarez sends it back in. He heads it. What are you doing, dude? Take it down with your foot and shoot it. Instead, he heads it up into the air like 10 feet over the crossbar. Stupid play. Stupid play. Even the coach is like, dude, why the hell? What were you doing? What were you doing? All right, so make sure you guys are with us. Our next couple of lives coming up. We've got tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. Jesus, I'm thinking it's the weekend already. It's not. Saturday night, Chivas against Club America. Thank you, Ramon, if you're still hanging out with us, brother. This is due to Ramon's $10 super chat. We are doing the El Clasico in Liga MX. And then on Sunday, Sunday, we've got Atlanta and Charlotte. That's going to be a lot of fun. The budding rivalry in the South. Brand new team, Charlotte FC. We'll be here for that one live. Make sure you guys are with us. Hit that sub button. Turn on that bell so you don't miss it when we go live. All right, back at it here. Still one nothing. New England Revolution. Ball goes out of play. We got a Pumas throw coming up. Rogerio looking on. Can he get on the end of one? Pumas started with a three five two. Looks like they're more of a uh, more of a kind of a three four three. Even though they they're saying they got four at the back, I'm not seeing uh, Mozo going too far back right now. Boateng with a bad touch in the midfield. Then he wins it back. Then take it down. It's a yellow card against Pumas. First yellow of the game. Comes out for Pumas. For Martinez. Oh no, Alvarez. Alvarez. Sorry. Mike asks, Red Bull, are you a season ticket holder? Are you rebel? I know you're going to the opener on uh, on Sunday. Here's Omar Gonzalez for New England. Sends it across to Dewan Jones. Jones back to Gonzalez. Gonzalez sends it up into the midfield polster. Forward for Carles Hill. Wide for Boateng. He's got some space. Great tackle there. And it's out for a corner kick. Corner coming up for New England. Mozo, good defensive play there. All right, guys, what do you think? You think uh, you think Pumas is going to get back in this? Header down by bye. Cleared. New England looking for a handball in the box, but then takes the uh, takes the throw quickly. So not going to happen. Oh, there you go. Dan says, ask Mia how she ranks MLS to Portuguese soccer. That's actually a great question, Dan. So, Mia, if you're still hanging with us, what are your thoughts on MLS as far as how does it rank compared to the uh, Portuguese league? Is that, you know, would you say it's a little bit below? Would you say it's even? Would you say uh, it's way behind Portuguese soccer? What are your thoughts? There you go. Mike says, nice. I sit in 101. Love it. There you go. You guys ought to... Meet each other there at the game. And send some pictures over. Send me some pictures at SOP Soccer on Twitter, guys. Or email me, podcast at sonsofapitchsoccer.com. Send on over those pictures. 
just like DSO did from the uh, NYCFC game last night. Just like that. Beautiful shots at Wrench, what, Wrenchler Field there in uh, Connecticut. And there's DSO. Beautiful pick there, DSO. Love it. Love it. You guys send the pictures. I add them into the lives. Doesn't matter if it's the game we're doing live at the moment or what, but hey. I'm the Mountie in the house. CFL Montreal stream later tonight. No, I'm the Mountie. I'm going to bed, brother. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm going to bed. I I, I get up way too early to be doing those late games. Once in a rare, rare situation, I'll do a late game. Uh, but I try not to do too many late games just because, you know, it's my day starts at 6 a.m. I'm going, 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 going. Crazy, man. Crazy. All right. Here is Boateng. Sends it into the middle for Legit. But I'm excited to watch that. Uh, I hate late Montreal. I do, me too. Uh, I'll be watching it, though, in bed. I'll be chilling. Uh, that, that'll put me to sleep tonight. Let's put it that way. Here comes Pumas. Wrong run there by Deneno or Rogelio. Rogerio, 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 something like that. Especially in the week. Yeah, yeah. And for me, every day is a weekday for me because I got kids. And uh, they wake up super damn early in the morning. And I got lives on TSI on the weekends and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, especially with the NCAA tournament coming up and the conference tournaments, man, my Toronto Sports and Channel Insider channel has been uh, going to have a lot of college basketball streams coming up over there. All right, we got a corner kick coming up here for Pumas. 71st minute, Rodriguez over to take it. Or is it a long throw? No, it's going to be a corner. All right, guys, hit that like button down below. If you haven't hit that like button yet, get on it. We're at 42. We got to get up to 50. Let's get it going. Come on now. Oh, geez. You know what? I didn't even add. Oh, ball in. Shot. Oh, what a save by Edwards. Nice play there by Edwards. And he throws it real long. Carlos Hill trying to get going. Nice defense there from Pumas. To cut out that attack. That's right, Mike. I got to add your name to the uh, to the members list here, my man. On the scroll down below me. I forgot. All right. It's done. Here's Buxa. He's on. Takes a shot. Talavera with a save. He takes another one and it's in. And Buxa gets the second goal. Talavera left on an, an island all by himself. Oh my God. What was that poor man? Wow. Buxa gets the second and New England is rolling. First ball in. He's on. Ball was offside, but Buxa was in. Buxa takes the shot. It's saved by Talavera. The second shot hits the post and in. And it's 2 nothing Revs. Wow. What a shot. Whew. Just barely touched that post and went in. Nice. I'm going to the uh, New England game and Charlotte so far. Very nice, very nice. Boxing history made. 1-1, one, one, hmm, nope. 2 nothing Revs. 2 nothing Revs. Buxo with the goal in the 72nd. And we had uh, a goal by Sebastian Leggett in the first half. Isn't Pumas a top Mexico team? They're, they're, they're not a top team, but they're a, a good team in Mexico. Um, and they brought a B-Squad tonight up here for this one. And that's what happens. MLS is catching up to League MX soon as they open up that salary cap, MLS is going to dominate League MX. They ain't even going to be close. If they, doubled, if they doubled the salary cap in MLS right now, MLS would probably win 8 out of 10 of the, uh, the Champions League titles going forward. Getting closer. Getting closer. Pray for my bet at this point. Red Bull, we're praying. Yeah, you got to be praying. You do. You got to pray. There you go, I'm going to all home games and some away games. Got a supporter section seat every home game this year, including playoffs. 
Red Bull, you got to send me some pictures there. You got to send me some pictures. Ball in, and Edwards spills it, but he gets it back. 74th minute, New England up 2-0. Now they just can't give up an away goal. If they don't give up an away goal here, they are in business for that second leg down in Mexico. All right, here's New England on the run again. Revolution chance from the crowd. This is crazy. This is uh, this is crazy. I'm the Mountie. Anyways, gotta go. Go MLS and good night. Good night. I'm the Mountie. Thanks for hanging. We'll see you soon. Have a good night, brother. R.I.P. to my bet. Yes, Pumas need a striker. They got Deneno. He's a, he's a good striker, but. He just can't, he's just not getting any service tonight. I mean, New England's played great tonight. They've played a very good game. 44 likes on the stream, y'all. Let's get this thing up to 50. Hit that like button, y'all. Hit it. All right, Pumas working off the left. Cutting into the middle, just too slow for Pumas tonight. Just way too slow. Their buildup has been trash. Mozo, ball into the box, easily cleared. Man, this is impressive. This is really impressive. Mozo, cuts in, sends the ball into the box. Farrell, header, clear. Edwards grabs it. No problems, no problems. All right, guys, big shout-outs to at Talk in the Woods, Dave Sabinski, A-Lo, Talk NYCFC, Woe Christian, and Mike Walsifer. For getting in on our Super Chat raffle. Ladies and gentlemen, get in on it. You got plenty, plenty, plenty of time. Jump in. One winner at the end of the season is going to win a MLS kit of their choice. And an Amazon gift card. 50 bucks. Get on it, ladies and gentlemen. $5 equals one entry. $10 equals two. $20 equals four. $50 equals ten. Hell, if somebody sends me a $50 super chat, I'll give you 20 entries. Here's Bo with a shot. It falls to Buxa and lands right into the goalkeeper's hands. There you go. There you go. Let's put it that way. We'll do, we'll do double entries there. Double entries if you hit $50 super chat. Love it. I don't expect anybody to do that, but that'd be kind of fun. That'd be kind of fun. All right. Here is Pumas with the ball. New England. Keeper makes a good save, yes. MLS beat the Mexican League, Mike. And I, I don't think they can pull it off yet, but it's looking good so far through the first couple. Uh, it's going to be real telling to see how Montreal does tonight against Cruz Azul. If they can pull out a result against Cruz Azul at the Azteca, I think that bodes well for MLS. But I don't know. Remember, New England's still got to go down to Pumas' house. Same thing with Seattle. they got to go to Lyon's house. Lyon is in trouble with three goals. Giving up three to Seattle last night. Seattle's like halfway in there, but um, we'll see. Oh, my God. The kids are going crazy down here. Love it. Mia Mendez is in the house. Mia, we asked you if uh, how you, Dan Geringer was interested to know how you rate the Portuguese league and the MLS league. So as far as the comparison, is MLS, is it close to the Portuguese league? Or is it like still way behind? Is it better? What are your thoughts on MLS compared to the Portuguese league? league there as they replay the goal of Sebastian Legette's first goal in the first half and he is off for the night so a good shift put in by the boy and Josie Altador comes in for Gustavo Bo don't pull a hammy Josie don't pull a hammy brother it's cold it's that turf in New England. I done seen you. I done seen you pull a hammy at this stadium when you played for TFC. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right, we're up to 46 likes, guys. Four away. Just four. Just four likes. Get us to 50. Come on, guys. Come on. Books is down after uh, he gets a boot to the back of the uh, the back of the heel there. That hurts. Took his shoe halfway off. I would personally say Portugal is a better league than MLS. I, I agree. I think the Portuguese league is still better than MLS. I, I just wonder if it's actually getting closer or if it's fairly close. 
You doing the watch along for the next game? I'm not, brother. I'm not. I'm too old for that shit. I'm uh, it, it's bedtime around these parts. It's nine o'clock at night, man. I'm 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 ready to uh, I'm ready to call it a night and go lay down and get ready to go to sleep. I got a busy day tomorrow. I got to go into the office tomorrow. Oh my god, I actually have to go to my office. I got a bunch of phone calls to make at the office too. It's not gonna be fun. Not gonna be a fun day tomorrow at all. But uh, I'm, I'm going to bed. I'll watch that game in bed and probably fall asleep at halftime. That's just, you know. And there you go. Ramon's still here. I love it. Love it, Ramon. Ramon's in the house. You got it. You got it nice over there on the West Coast, brother. Love it, man. Nice and early. To, what is it? Like 645 there for you? Love it, man. 945 in New York. That's right. On the East Coast, it's even later. Dude, I got to be done by like 10 o'clock at night. That's, that's my, that's, that's way... I'm way done by that point. But every once in a while, I'll stay up for a late game. You know, I'll do a late game every once in a while. Like this weekend, Ramon. Like this weekend for Chivas. Here's a ball in from Dewan Jones, cut out by Pumas. And I don't see Pumas uh, getting anything here. They, Those, uh, they're just not putting it together the way they should. Pumas had so much possession on the ball, just waste it. They do. They do. Long distance strike goes out for a goal kick. For Edwards. Tomorrow is a very busy day. In Portugal, normally only three teams fight for the title. Porto, Sporting, and Benfica. Okay, but as far as the like the quality of the play, Mia, how's the quality of the play there? Is it when you watch an MLS game and you watch a Portuguese league game, whether it's the top teams or not, how is the, the, the style of play? Is it better than MLS by a lot, by a little? But yeah, we know it's usually and usually Porto is usually the top, you know. These last two are, okay. Yep, Sporting and Benfica are uh, Sporting. Uh, look, Sporting Lipson and uh, and Benfica. Uh, those stadiums, man, my God, they're awesome, awesome stadiums. All right, here is Gonzalez plays it out. Pumas throw coming up here in the 81st minute. Throw in from Pumas. Cross into the middle. Taken down. Deneno lays it off. Alvarez lays it off again. Now they're out to the left. Rodriguez with it. Tries to get the ball in. He does. His chest it back. Here's Mozo. Mozo lays it off to the right. Islas the new. Oh, back post, dude. They can't finish, man. They cannot get on the right side of it here. J. King Porto is a, is a pretty good team. They are a, a good team. Yeah, Portugal does have great great stadiums. Oh, intercepted by Boateng. Can they counter? Sends it up for Buxa. Buxa's going to get on it. My God. Buxa goes backwards. Now lays it off for Dewan Jones. Juan Jones plays it even further back to Omar Gonzalez. Long ball up. Brandon By in possession for New England. Hits it across. Ball into the middle for Josie. Josie takes a shot, flubs it at the keeper. He's got it. And he'll pick it up right by him. <laughs> I think Portuguese league is better than MLS. Sorry, but it's my opinion. I agree with you, Mia. I agree. I, I think the league is still better. I think MLS is catching up. It's get it's getting better in due time. In due time. But yeah, I uh, you know, I agree. The Portuguese league, they're still I mean, you take those top teams, they'll they'll wipe the floor with an MLS squad nine times out of ten. But uh, as far as the middle and the bottom, I think that some of the better MLS teams could could fight to stay up in that league. But thanks for answering that, Mia. Appreciate it. And uh, Dan, if you're still here, you got your answer, brother. There, Farrell gets the clearance there as Pumas trying to get something going here at the end of the game. Mike, I think the problem with the Mexican teams, they have so much position, they just waste it. You know, they, they do. They do. They, they do not put good – they don't put anything good together in the final third. That's been Pumas' problem all night. They've been struggling to get through the midfield. Then when they do, it's, you know, 
They get it into the final third and it's trash. Here's Farrell plays it back to Edwards. Edwards just standing over the ball, waiting for a Pumas player to challenge him. And the ball's given away on the long kick out. Red Bull, I'm going to watch like the first couple minutes of Montreal. I'm going to sleep. I don't blame you. I'm with you. I'm hoping to make it to halftime. I really am. That's that's my goal. Can we get to halftime? I don't know. We'll see. Played out to Mozo. Mozo and Boateng fighting for it. Mozo plays it into the middle. Pumas trying to get one away goal. That's all. They just need an away goal. I don't know if they're going to. I don't think they're going to get it, honestly. They just can't seem to put anything together at the final third. Pumas switching to the right side. Makes a run. Sends the cross in. Blocked out. Nice play there by Polster. Cleared out for a throw. They just put some poor cross into the box and expect to score. They do. It's insane. Like, you're not you're not going to get it done. You're not going to get it. They've got to start attacking the middle of the field, too, because the, the, the crosses definitely haven't been working. And even when they do find a Pumas head, they're barely a flick onto the back post, and then nobody's there. So, yeah. It's going to be like 10-10 over here when Montreal game starts. Yep. 9-10 here, but that's still still late for me. MLS need more development to me. They do, and, and they need more money to spend as well. I mean, it all comes down to the salary cap for MLS. You've got probably 15 teams in MLS, half the league, a little over half, are, would easily spend that money if they were given it. It's the other half that's bringing them down. It's the San Jose's. It's the Colorado's. Columbus is starting to spend some more cash lately, but Columbus in the old ownership group with Precourt ended up moving the team. But still, it's, you know, if they open that up, the league will get a lot better. Shot by Boateng goes over the bar. They'll get there. And and plus, you look at these academy kids, right? You got a few, you got a few players that have come up through the academies. But wait till 10 years from now, right? So you got a lot of places that like Toronto like RSL, like Dallas, like, you know, a lot of these teams, Seattle, I mean, Vancouver, they all have these great academies that have 13-year-olds playing for them. They're not going to find the field right now. But see, in 10 years, you're going to have a lot of good talent that has come up. The growth of the game, it, it, it hasn't even come close to the peak yet. So in, in due time, MLS, the development's there. The development portion is there for MLS. It comes down to the money for me. And there you go. I agree, Mike. Thumbs up. Exactly. Yeah, you, you got it, man. There, Mia says, my FC Porto represents well in the Champions League, not this year, but other years. Nice. Got it. it Porto's my team as well because of Steven Estacchio. I, I'm going for Porto, even though he didn't see much of the field for uh, for Porto. But uh, Estacchio, love that guy, man. Oh, there you go. Dan says, Mia, where do the best Portuguese players go and play? Do they play in EPL, Bundesliga, Italy, etc.? Yes, New York Red Bulls does have a very good academy system as well. All right, Pumas trying to get something going. It doesn't look good for them. Doesn't look good for them at all. And as I say that, they get the one of their better buildups of the night. Deneno shot wide. Goal kick. The Pumas fans over in the corner still screaming and yelling, but... It ain't happening tonight for Pumas. 2 nothing. No away goals, man. That's a killer because if the Revs can bag one, it Pumas. Whoo, child. Look out. Look out. All right, guys. We're two freaking likes away. I need two people to hit that like button right now. Hit that freaking like button. Let's go. I love it. It's funny, man. Like DSO and, uh, and Brother BKL and all those guys. They all went over to Ryan's stream for the second half. They were here for the first half. They went over to Ryan's stream for the second half. Love it. Sharing the wealth, man. I love it. Love Ryan, man. That kid brought him onto the show way back. Gave him the ideas about the live streams, and uh, he's run with it. Sometimes he's he's a little crazy, but that's why some people like him. So Most Portugal players go to the EPL. Okay. Mike Inter Miami was so bad Sunday, dude. They were. Oh my God. I, Austin was really good too. So you can't discredit them. But yeah, Miami looks like 
trouble. They, they look like trouble. And there you go. Hit the like out of that. Hit the heck out of that like button. Two people hit that like button. We're up to 50. Thank you for you two that just hit it. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. We got 50 tonight. That's good business. All right. Pumas with a long ball up. Can they get on it? Dewan Jones with a push in the back. It'll be a free kick for Pumas. And there you go. Liked. Dan Geringer hit the like button. Love it, my man. Thank you. Ramon, looks like New England will uh, will move on. I, I agree. I agree. I mean, if they if they can hold this and not give up an away goal to Pumas, I think they should be able to hang for, for uh, at least get one away goal, and that'll put the tie away. That bye week helped New England. Sure did. New England needs a third. That'd put it away for sure. That would put it done over if New England was to get a third. Here's Diogo. Passes out wide. Cleared from New England. All right. Live stream sports chat like. Thank you. Appreciate that. Whoever that is. Sarah or Julie or Bella or Tom. What is happening in New York City in MLS? They're prioritizing CCL. They, they had to travel out to LA, even though technically they didn't travel much because they were there for the uh, their first their second leg game there against Santos Guadalupe. But they're prioritizing CCL, which is what the champions usually do. So give it time. Give it time. It, New York City's fine. They got tons of talent. They're a very good team. They'll, they'll, they'll be fine. I think this, this weekend, the game New York City against Montreal is going to be a snoozer. I really do. Deneno takes it down in their six blue shirts to clear the ball. Right back out. But Pumas trying. Mozo sends the ball into the box. Edwards grabs it. Three minutes of stoppage time. We're 30 seconds in. This game's done and dusted, ladies and gentlemen. Done and dusted. All right. Big shout out. At Talking the Woods. Rocky. If y'all have Instagram, go download Instagram right now if you don't. But most people do. Hit that over there. At Talk and the Woods. Check it out. Follow Rocky and have a chance at winning that giveaway there, that that uh, that Timbers Army scarf. Love it. As well, Dave Sabinski. Hey, lo, talk NYCFC. Whoa, Christian and Mike Walsifer. Much appreciated, ladies and gentlemen. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's all gentlemen on that list. But, uh, or at least I think so. But, uh, oh, there you go. Actually, Mike, Ryan Anderson doing that game to add the thumbnail. There you go. So if you want to do the Montreal game, Ryan's got it. Buxa shoots, scores! 3 nothing in stoppage time. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. The Revs, barring a collapse of meteoric proportions, they're through. They're through. Buxa with two goals tonight. Legit with the other, the opener in the first half. And it's 3 nothing Revs. My God. Wow. Whew. Wow. Pumas. <laughs> Pumas is done. Pumas is going to be hanging with Leon. They're done. It, ML, this might be the year, ladies and gentlemen. This might be the year because all the league MX sides will get knocked out. <laughs> Dear God. Pumas, you made me lose 350. I don't know what you were thinking, Red Bull. I don't know what you were thinking there on this one. You got it. Oof. Oof. 350. Damn. Uh, you're you're uh, you're spot on, brother BKL. Pumas is done, done. It's over. It's gonna be Seattle, New York City on one side. It's gonna be New England Revolution and Cruz Azul or Montreal. Can you imagine if Montreal beats beats Cruz Azul, and it's four MLS sides in the semifinals? That would be insane. That would be insane. I think MLS is gonna win. They might do it, J King. They might just do it. Here is Pumas with the ball. Trying to maybe get one more in, but the ref's going to blow the whistle any second. Just blow it, dude. It's done. And there it is. Final. Oh, foul. I thought he was going to give. And there's the final whistle. There it is. That would be amazing. Ryan, yeah, Ryan, Ryan wants TFC to win it first. I want TFC to win it first, too. I do. But I don't think it's going to. It's. It, this might be the year. I, I, I'm in, but hey, you know I gotta chill out. We still gotta go to Mexico, even with these. I've seen crazier things happen going to Mexico, but yeah, I, I'll give it up. 
If Montreal beats uh, Cruz Azul, especially tonight in that away leg, yeah, then and then, forget it. All right, guys, we're at 52 likes. Big shout out to all the Super Chats tonight. Getting in on that Super Chat raffle. Love it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for getting in on our Super Chat raffle. One winner at the end of the season is getting a pick of their MLS kit of their choice and a $50 Amazon.com gift card. Get in on it, guys. Jump in. Send those Super Chats. Big shout out to all you guys that did. Big shout out to everybody that hung out with me tonight. Watching this game, hitting that like button. I love it. Thank you, guys. Click some ads on our streams. It really helps a lot. And uh, we'll see you guys real soon. Again, as a reminder, the next live is Saturday night, Chivas Club America. And then on Sunday, we've got Atlanta United and Charlotte. And don't forget to go check out my betting picks and predictions for week three MLS. It's out now. Go find that video. Go find out who's going to win the games coming up. And yes, like Brother BKL says, go to Ryan Anderson for that uh, the Montreal Cruz Azul game. Go check out Ryan's channel as well. He'll be live for that one right about now, actually. All right, guys. Have a great night. We'll talk to you later. Peace.